I, uh, I, I was in London, I, I got to go to Amsterdam. I don't understand this. I don't know why people from, from Holland are called Dutch. I don't know why people from the Netherlands are called Dutch. Like I would understand if they were called like nether regionals or Hollandaise, that feels like a missed opportunity. You might not know this about the Dutch. They are great inventors. Uh, they invented the first oven, the Dutch oven. Oh, I hate myself. Oh, I hate myself. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very simple to make a Dutch oven if you never have. All you need is a doona and a relationship that's run out of ideas. <laughs> very affordable, isn't it? Who did that first? Who laid in bed with the person they love and just went, I want to hurt you, <laughs> but I don't want to go to jail. And I've eaten a lot of Mexican food. Because we only Dutch oven the ones we love, don't we? It's beautiful. <laughs> Stick that on a Hallmark card. We only Dutch oven the ones we love. I, uh, I am in a relationship, but I am terrible at telling whether people are flirting with me or not. So this happened before I was in a relationship. So I want you guys to tell me whether you think this guy was flirting with me or not, okay? It happened on Twitter. Now there's a group called the Christian Alliance and um, <laughs> bear with me. And my friend was attacking the Christian Alliance with horrible things like logic and reason and... <laughs> No, I'm joking, I'm joking. There's lots of good Christians. I'm spiritual myself. I've seen Sister Act 2. So my friend is attacking the Christian Alliance and I did the thing that Twitter was invented for, got involved in business that wasn't mine. And so I said to my friend, maybe don't go so hard. They could just be teenagers that are super into G-O-D. Maybe dial it back. And he replied to me and said, no, they're a fundamentalist Christian group. They're dangerous and they spread bile. And I thought, okay, well, I'll stay out of it. But it's Twitter, that's not how it works. So then, the head of the Christian Alliance got in contact with me, and this is where I want you guys to tell me whether you think that he's flirting with me or not, okay? Yeah. All right, his name was Reverend Norman Price. Straight to the top. And the tweet said, another feminazi libtard slut. Hey, Felicity, what's your personal abortion counter up to? from a reverend. Is that flirting? I can never tell. It feels like mixed messages. So I just sent him a cheeky tweet back and I said, will you keep talking like that? And I might be up for another one. Wink. Thank you very much. I'm Felicity Ward.